Do you know that the Rutherford County approved clear bags are just $15? That's right, $15 gets you a bag that is completely clear. And that money also goes to support your Stewart's Creek High School baseball team. At that price, why aren't you taking home five today? I, I don't know. You got a birthday coming up? Clear bag. Holidays, we got Christmas in a few months? Clear bags. I don't see any other solution to that problem than clear bags for $15 that you can buy tonight right outside the main ticket booth.
Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise and remove your hats for the presentation of the colors and the playing of our national anthem. The colors are presented by the Stewart's Creek High School JROTC. Carrying the national colors, Cadet Second Lieutenant Corbin Murphy. Carrying the state colors, Cadet Master Sergeant Trevor Whelan. And the rifle bearers are Cadet Sergeant Catherine Baumgart and Cadet Corporal Jacoby Luton. Tonight, the band is joined by the eighth grade band members from Stewart's Creek Middle School and Rock Springs Middle School. Special thanks to the middle school band directors, Brittany Gerald and Elijah Gilmore from Stewart's Creek Middle School, and Caroline Hensley and Charles Torrent from Rock Springs Middle School. And now, the playing of our national anthem by the Stewart's Creek High School Band and future Red Hawk Band members. that you remain standing until the colors have exited the playing field.
Welcome everybody to Stewart's Creek High School, home of the Red Hawks. Here tonight to watch the Red Hawks take on the Cane Ridge Ravens. Stewart's Creek won the coin toss, but decided to defer the ball to the Ravens. And the teams are getting ready for kickoff. Anthony Sensabaugh on the run, brought down for a loss. That brings up second and 14 for the Ravens. Two, Darius McGill brought down for no gain. to number two, Darius McGill, brought down just shy of a first down. And it looks like they've got a first down. Fletcher with the keeper. Flag on the play. Fletcher brought down by Nigel Maynard. Holding called against the Ravens. Ravens will replay the first down. Loss of five yards. Brings up first and 15 for Kane Ridge. Darian Fletcher.
pass to number 13, Jadel Sane, is complete. Gain of 10 on the play brings up third and 16 for Cane Ridge. Tackle by number nine, Ez Ezeldeen. Marcel Gordon. That'll bring up fourth and long for Kane Ridge. at the 35 yard line will bring up a first down for Stewart's Creek. with a gain of two on the play. with a gain of two on the play. Should bring up third and seven. Run brings up a Red Hawks first down. Pass 
pass to Caleb Floyd is complete. Brings up second five for the Red Hawks. Gain of five yards on the play by Floyd. start called against the Red Hawks. Five-yard penalty brings up second and ten for Stewart's Creek. with a gain of five on the play, late flag also on the ground. foul called against Stewart's Creek. Stewart's Creek. T.J. Phineas, returned by Darius McGill. Kane Ridge will start with first and ten at the 22-yard line.
pass complete to number three, Braylon Burns, brought down by number 15, Jarrell Watson. can get you back in the game. To request an appointment, visit us at toa.com or call 615-896-6800. Yeah. Folks, don't forget those Rutherford County approved clear bags are for sale. $15 gets you a bag as, as clear as, well, something very clear. A clear day, a clear summer day. There we go. Start with first and ten with the ball placed at the 46 yard line. up second 10 for the Red Hawks.
Drum brings up a first down, Red Hawks. First quarter, folks. Court score is currently tied with nothing on both sides. Results Physiotherapy is proud to provide physical therapy and sports medicine services to Rutherford County School Athletics and the local community. With over 60 locations across Middle Tennessee, Results provides evidence-based superior treatment options to help our patients get better faster. Visit ResultsPT.com to learn more and find a location near you. Creek.
Taylor with a keeper. Comes up short of the first down. Kane Ridge will take over. The ball placed at the six yard line. distance of the goal line brings the ball back to the three. start called against Kane Ridge. Five yard penalty brings up first and 15 for the Ravens. Fletcher's pass at number three, Braylon Burns, complete. Game of seven on the play.
gain of three yards on the play. Brought down by number 34, Keelan Harris. Six, Nigel Mater, Stewart's Creek will start with first and ten at the 41 yard line. Gain of eight yards on the play brings up second and two for Stewart's Creek. <laughs> Caleb Floyd's run brings up a first down Red Hawks. Intended for Javari and Ote, incomplete. Flag on the field. Holding called against Stewart's Creek, 10 yard penalty. Second and 12 for Stewart's Creek. Caleb Floyd is complete.
Jacob Jones with the keeper. And they will measure the game. First down brings up fourth and one from Stewart's Creek. comes up short on the measurement. Kane Ridge will take over on downs with the ball at the 38-yard line. Team complete. Tackle made by Az Azeldeen. Kane Ridge with the first down. Darius McGill swatted down by number 13, Ari Hill. That'll bring up third and six for the Ravens.
Handoff to number two, Darius McGill. No gain, brought down by number 50, Jonathan Waller. Timeout called by Stewart's Creek. Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance is the largest and most comprehensive orthopedic surgery group in Tennessee. For more information on any of TOA's convenient locations, including our orthopedic urgent cares, visit toa.com. Ascension St. Thomas Rutherford has been providing health care in Rutherford County for 95 years, delivering more of your babies, performing more joint replacements to keep you active, and helping repair more of your hearts. With convenient care locations around the county, there is no one you need to count on more than the expert doctors and caregivers at Ascension St. Thomas. Visit ascension.org slash St. Thomas Rutherford to learn more. Score to seven, Stewart's Creek, zero, Cane Ridge. Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance, proudly serving Stewart's Creek athletes. For more information on any of TOA's convenient locations, including our orthopedic urgent cares, visit toa.com. If you're looking for a fun halftime activity, don't forget to watch both bands perform and remember, clear bags are available for purchase. That's $15 per bag. With a price like $15, you can afford at least 17 bags. Take them home today, hand them out to your friends, use them as party favors. They're clear, you can see right through them. It's everything you wanted in a bag, except privacy.
Deha up at Meade's kick. Touchback. Cade Ridge will start at the 20 yard line, first and 10. Six, Nigel Maynard. Ten yard gain on the play brings up a fresh set of downs for Kane Ridge. Pass intended for number two, Darius McGill, incomplete. Brings up second and ten for the Ravens. That pass was defended by Ez Ezeldeen. Marcel Gordon. Gain of two on the play brings up third and eight for the Ravens. Timeout called. TOA steps up and the play breaks down. Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance are the official team doctors for Stewart's Creek Athletics. For more information on any of TOA's convenient locations, including our orthopedic urgent cares, visit toa.com. Six, Nigel Maynard. and ten.
pass intended for number 14, Morgan Vanderbilt, incomplete, brings up second and 10 for the Red Hawks. The one minute remaining in the half. complete to number 24, Kenny Jordan, for a Red Hawks first down. Intended for number eight, Javari and Ote, incomplete. Third and ten for Stewart's Creek. Number six, Nigel Maynard complete. A gain of 11 on the play brings up first down, Red Hawks. Incomplete brings up second and ten for the Red Hawks. Intended for number six, Nigel Maynard, incomplete. Brings up third and ten for the Red Hawks, with 11 seconds remaining in the first half of play. complete to number one, Caleb Floyd, for a Red Hawks first down. <laughs> Timeout on the field called by Stewart's Creek. Planning to drink? Don't plan to drive. The Tennessee Highway Safety Office reminds you that fans don't let fans drive drunk.
pass deflected as the first half ends. First half ends with a score of Stewart's Creek 7, Cane Ridge 0. about to give you the next selection in the night. Now, old 
school. This is for you. We're going to take it back to 91 with Jodeci forever, my lady. Let's go.
All right, everybody. I heard everybody cheer when you were asked if you had a dollar in your pocket. I'll tell you what, folks, if you've got 15 in your pocket, you can take that 15 down and buy a clear bag. That's right. You can't hide money, and you can't hide anything in that clear bag. Ladies and gentlemen, on the field for your halftime entertainment is the Stewart's Creek High School Band. The drum majors are Lily Agee, Danae Altman, and Katie Ledford. Joining the band tonight is Stewart's Creek High School Dance Team. And now, please welcome the Stewart's Creek High School Band!
to welcome to the field a very special group of athletes the coming across the track you'll see the Stewart's Creek Junior Pro Red Hawks and cheerleaders starting off with the 6U team coached by head coach Derek Potter and his staff And here comes that 6U team. Coming up next, we've got the 8U team, coached by head coach Larry Edwards and his staff. The 6U game day squad with cheer director Rhonda Hughes, coach Derrico, coach Nisi, and coach Corey. Now we've got the 8U team, coached by head coach Larry Edwards. The 8U game day squad, coached by coach Destiny. The 10U Division I team, coached by head coach Devin Webb. The 10U Red Game Day Squad, coached by Coach Phyllis and Coach Crystal. The 10U Division II team, coached by Head Coach Walt Horton and his staff. And the 10U Black Game Day Squad, coached by Coach Mallory. Coming up next, the 12U team, coached by Head Coach Matthew Madison and staff. Followed by the 12U Game Day Squad, Coached by Coach Angel and Coach V. Everybody give it up once again for the Tennessee Youth Football League Stewart's Creek Junior Pro Red Hawks and Junior Pro Red Hawk cheerleaders.
right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to second half action. The Red Hawks will receive the ball to start the half. The Red Hawks, of course, coming into the second half with a 7 to nothing lead over the Cane Ridge Ravens. That last song by the Stewart's Creek High School Band, of course, Bon Jovi, told you to hold on to what you got, but I don't want you to hold on to $15. I'd like you to take that $15, run, don't walk, down to the ticket booth, and buy a Rutherford County approved clear bag. That's right. It's a bag. It's clear. You can see right through it. What you won't see in it is the $15 you spend, which isn't much when you really think about it. Think about your daily routine. How many times have you needed a clear bag? And if you don't have one, you probably weren't thinking when you came to the football game tonight that this would be your shopping opportunity. Folks, you can go ahead and take care of Christmas tonight. Buy as many clear bags as you can fit in your pockets or your other larger clear bag and take that home with you. Go ahead, wrap them up, put them under the tree if you've already got it up. If you don't, think about how much time you'd save doing it now. Clear bags. Folks, it's been brought to my attention that these clear bags would not make good gift bags because they are in fact clear and the gift contained within would be revealed upon receipt of said gift bag. So consider buying other gift bags in which to put your clear bags that you were giving as gifts. fielded by number 10, Mason Moss, got all the way out to the 44-yard line where Stewart's Creek will start with first and 10. Correction, that's the 43-yard line.
fumble on the play. Picked up by Kane Ridge. First and ten at the twenty one yard line. Number eight, Anthony Sensabaugh brought down for a loss by number seventy four, BJ Peter. Reese's pass complete to number five, Kadarian Fletcher. Brought down by number 15, Joel Watson. A gain of eight on the play. Anthony Sensabaugh, brought down by number 80, Grady Harvey, brings up a first down for the Ravens. Down by number 80, Grady Harvey. Brings up second goal for the Ravens. Jadel Singh, touchdown, Kane Rich.
Herrera Nava's kick is good, bringing the score even with seven for each team. Do you have a sports-related injury? Visit the TOA Orthopedic Urgent Care in Murfreesboro today. Extended hours available. For more information about your Murfreesboro office or one of TOA's other locations across Middle Tennessee, visit toa.com or call 615-896-6800. Caleb Floyd complete. A gain of one on the play brings up second and nine for the Red Hawks. with a gain of five on the play. Brings up fourth and three for the Red Hawks.
Phineas' punt. Called for a fair catch by number two, Darius McGill. At the 39 yard line. Cade Ridge, first and 10. Sensible with a long run for a first down. Take it down by number six, Nigel Maynard. So number five, Gadarian Fletcher complete for a Cane Ridge touchdown. against Kane Ridge. The upright is no good. Bringing Kane Ridge to 13 to Stewart's Creek's 7. Injured? Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance can help. Same day appointments available and walk ins welcome at any of our orthopedic urgent care locations in Murfreesboro, One City Nashville, Hendersonville, Clarksville, and Franklin. For more information, visit toa.com. Litter is a big problem in Tennessee. Did you know there are over 100 million pieces of litter on our beautiful Tennessee roadways at any given time? That's really bad for the environment, but you can do something about it. Learn how you can join the Nobody Trashes Tennessee movement at nobodytrashestennessee.com.
Day runs the ball out to the 47 yard line for a first down Red Hawks. for a loss. <laughs> loss of three yards on the play brings up second 13 for Stewart's Creek. Taking the stairs instead of the elevator, you're never too young or old to move toward a healthy future. So get on your feet, cheer on your team, and join Blue Cross in making a healthier Tennessee. McGill runs the ball out to the 31-yard line, brought down by number six, Nigel Mayer.
since about the short game. Brought down by number 46, Bryson Hayes. Del Sane brings the ball out to the 40 yard line. That brings up fourth and one for Kane Ridge. Sensible on the fake brings up a first down for Cambridge. for number five, Kadarian Fletcher, incomplete. <laughs> Defended by number 15, Jarrell Watson. Stewart's Creek, 15-yard penalty, brings up a first down for Kane Ridge. Pass number two, Darius McGill, run out of bounds by number 13, Arnie Hills.
pitch to number eight, Anthony Sensibel, game four on the play. Brought down by number 50, Jonathan Wall. for a loss. Brings up third and ten for the Ravens. to number 13, Jadel Sane. Flag on the play. Holding call against Kane Ridge. this time to go ahead and make the most important call of the night and that call is to your ride let them know that the game has one quarter left and that soon you will need to be picked up Tennessee is proud to support high school athletics and the TSS members. Whether it's playing sports or taking the stairs instead of the elevator, you're never too young.
handoff to Ote. Gain of seven yards on the play. Brings up second and three for Stewart's Creek. First and ten, your first priority with about ten minutes to go in this game, if you don't have a ride, is to get out your cell phone and dial those digits that take you to your ride and let them know that it is time for them to head down to Stewart's Creek High School to pick you up so they can take you home at the completion of tonight's game. Tackled for the backfield by number six, Nigel Maynard. Loss of one on the play. Brings up second and 11 for Kane Ridge. game. So go ahead and get your cell phone out, call your ride, let them know to head on down to Stewart's Creek High School to pick you up at the completion of tonight's game.
attempt is good, bringing Stewart's Creek to 21, to Cane Ridge, 13. Fans, as you leave today, remember to drive safe and always wear your seatbelt. It just might save your life. Buckle up, Tennessee. Every trip, every time. Brought to you by the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. Thirteen, Jadel Singh, flag on the play. to number five, Kadarian Fletcher. Tackled by number six, Nigel Maynard. Ball comes out to the 25-yard line as Kane Ridge earns a new set of downs. Number two, Darius McGill. Pushed out of bounds at the 40 yard line by number 13, Ari Hills. Second and ten. Josh 
Joshua Reese keeps the ball for a gain of six. Taken down by number 13, Ari Hills. Third and four for Cambridge. School to pick them up at the conclusion of tonight's game. Stewart's Creek with the ball at the 25 yard line.
28, the King Ridge is 13. complete to number two, Darius McGill. Brought down by number six, Nigel Maynard. Gain of eight on the play, brings up second and two for the Ravens. Fletcher's pass incomplete brings up Third and two for Kane Ridge. Stewart's Creek High School to pick you up because there are two minutes and 38 seconds remaining. 
remaining in tonight's game. to number two, Darius McGill. Taken out of bounds by number 13, Ari Hills. Brings up fourth and three for Kane Rich. Defended by number nine as as a D. Stewart's Creek will take over on downs. Fans and attendants who need rides home, as you call your ride, let them know to make sure to bring with them $15 with which to buy a clear bag. That's right, Rutherford County approved clear bags are still just $15. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage brings up second and ten for Stewart's Creek. something near and dear to my heart. As you know, when Stewart's Creek goes on the road, we have a reputation for leaving the stands spotless. I'd like tonight for all of us to think about leaving our own stand spotless on the way out. As you see, it's fourth and seven, and I think a great number would be seven. Pick up seven pieces of trash on the way out tonight. Throw that at any trash receptacle. There's no stand like a clean stand, and a clean stand is a happy stand, and well, it's just nice to leave things clean. 
I think everyone out there would agree that no one likes to have to clean up after anyone. So let's clean up after ourselves. Leave a great impression tonight. Turn by number 26. Brings the ball out to the 33 yard line. for a first down for Cane Ridge. Number 23, tackle of the line of scrimmage. Brought down by number 46, Bryson Hayes. Time has expired. The final 
score 28 for the Stewart King Red Hawks, 13 for Cane Ridge Ravens. Fans, as the team shake hands, I'd like to take this opportunity to give a special shout out to my spotting crew, Newell Lawson and Xavier Rouse, did an outstanding job for me tonight. I'd also like to give thanks to Ben Bowers, who filled in for me last week, and of course to Michael Strickland, my longtime spotter, who may not have been active tonight, but is here with me in spirit. team heads over to the band. It's time once again for you to join us for a little unity in the community.